Hey everyone, welcome back. My name is Nick and we're going to be doing some more Taylor Swift today. Uh, I know it's been a little bit. Uh, thank you to Tall on Patreon for linking me again, another long format video. Uh, it's going to be Taylor Swift uh, doing the Red Era live in MetLife Stadium. Um, I think with Phoebe Bridges, which is just a, or Phoebe Bridgers, okay, um, in Nothing New. So we'll see what that is. I'm not super familiar with Phoebe Bridgers, but, um, you know, I'm always open to exploring new music and seeing how that sort of collaboration comes together and fuses. Um, again, thank you so much, Tall, and thank you to each one of you who have taken the time to go to Patreon and support me there. Again, it's never needed, but it does help me continue doing this. Um, so thank you, and uh, make sure to leave me a comment. Let me know what you're thinking of these videos, if you have any feedback for me, any directions you want me to go down the Taylor Swift rabbit hole. Um, and of course, as always, go support Taylor. Get tickets to her tour. Um, I think that she's got something streaming coming out soon, so um, just go support you know, the original artist. Let's hop in. this song. Um, I've definitely heard this song. Is this never, we're never getting back together? Okay, I think I've got the, the chords in my head. Hopefully that's right. I was completely off, I'm sorry. I can hear all of you cringing. <laughs> Okay. 
wow, that's so cool. Swift anyways, ew. Um, dude, the energy she brings on stage is just it's it's insane. Um, I can I I don't know too much about the red era yet. I haven't really delved into that, so this is really my first time, but I know this song. Um, definitely heard this one before on the radio. Um, it's so catchy and sort of ironic with her, the with the shirt. Um, also just noticing how tall Taylor Swift is compared to everyone else. Like She's so tall. does have that timeless quality to it where you could just like you know the words even if you weren't sure that you've heard the song and I've definitely heard this song and uh, this is just one of those stadium hits so so far the red era she started with two songs that I've definitely heard on the radio at some point and um, they're bangers man you know you're never we're never gonna back together like you've put me through too much strife we've you know um, so this is my first foray into this realm of uh, Swift, and um, it's definitely like much more poppy and like catchy. And I'm sure that there's lots of gems on the red, the, in the red era that um, are less like this. But I'm not complaining. This is this is dope.
kind of surprising myself. I feel like I've heard a lot of these songs. Um, these must be some of the radio ones because, um, like, I've rocked out to T-Swift before. I just, like, never, when I started this journey, I'd never really delved into anything beyond what I'd heard on the radio. Um, and I think that's what has been fun about this channel, like, growing with you guys and sort of understanding the backstory behind some of these stories and relationships and, uh, like, the whole folklore uh, Evermore era of just, like, fiction that is applicable to all of our lives. Um, but then I'm just like, wow, I actually recognize a lot more than I thought I did. Um, it's nuts. I love when she does that like little falsetto and it's like usually on inhalation it's ugh, it's so sexy and it also just works in the song so rhythmically this is this is a hit this is definitely a hit That's a start. That's a start right there. I love getting this live experience. It's a very interesting look. Um, it's a very interesting look into like what that energy must feel like.
do that, I would call them Taylor's version. And so if you see Taylor's version next to an album, that means I own it. It's mine. It's uh, amazing. And you know, this is um, this is. I mean, now knowing the contentious relationships he's had with people like Scooter Braun and the ways in which they wanted her to go and shape her life and narrative, the fact that she now owns the, the royalties and the, and the copyrights for those pieces of art, um, that's so incredibly important as an artist. Um, and so awesome that she just was like, honestly, like, F you, like, to the industry, I'm doing it my way. And uh, I think she, it's paying off. I think it's paying off. The definition of, of what we call a passion project, right? This is something that is personal to me. Um, and I, I said to myself, like, I cannot demand or expect them to care about this as much as I do because this is my thing. And this isn't really something you see happen very often in the music industry. So... <laughs> I went in with the expectation that this was just going to be my personal little thing, and and then as soon as I put out my first pre-record of one of my albums, um, you guys rolled up your sleeves and went, "No, we care about this too, actually." <laughs> Because it's been really, um, it's been one of the most fun things to do for me because I get to not only revisit my old music um, and appreciate it more now that I'm older, um, but I get to go back to these projects and what I'll do is I'll, I'll look at the songs that didn't make the album that I wrote for the project, that were, that were all supposed to be part of it, but didn't make the album for one reason or another. And if I'm still proud of that song, I'll put it on the album, and I'll call it a From the Vault track. Yeah! Yeah! Goosebumps, baby. And so there was, a, there was a From the Vault track on Red that I was really proud of, and I wanted to get it right, because I really loved it. And I yeah! wanted to ask one of my favorite yeah! artists and, and Bridges is like shell shocked. Like um, it's sad. Last last night of the uh, the tour for them. I don't have to say. I'm really sad. I'm so sad. It's sad. You are my hero. What are you doing? Right now? What are you doing? Right now? What are you doing? You are my hero. I love you so much. It's really touching. Thank you for being the friend that you've been to me. This is, this is really something that we could have like written in a note to each other and just been like, thank you for being a friend that I will never, ever stop confiding in and trusting. I love you with everything. Um, but yeah, this is, this is the last time that we're going to get to sing together on this tour, so I feel like I'm just... Thank you.
I love, I love Taylor on acoustic. Like it's, it just, uh, it hits. Like I like the stadium hits, I do, but I've said this so many times, but I, me and the acoustic guitar are just like old friends. Like I'm just a sucker and uh, I have heard nothing new. This is an incredible song. I, I think I have a video of it on my channel. Ugh. Criticize the way you fly When you soar into the sky Shoot you down and then they sigh And say she looks like she's been through it Lord, who will become Watching them get so emotional together on stage. I mean, it's like two like really close friends. Sorry if I've mispronounced her name. I was thinking, I feel like I keep saying Phoebe Bridge is. It's Bridgers, I think. I'm so sorry if I screwed that up, but um, it's touching. It's touching to watch two friends like basically jam out and um, share many moments on stage, but wrap an epic journey up here on the tour. Um, tall, I could totally see why you selected this video now. There's a lot of like really special things that happen.
sorry, you had to see that. That was like the last day of summer camp for us. I was like, we're literally going to do that all again later, but worse and crying. Um, <laughs> there's um, there's one more song from Red that I that I want to play for you. This one's incredible. So I said earlier that I wasn't familiar with Red. I must have been completely wrong because I know every single one of these songs. And I guess I've covered some of them on my channel. Um, those, that must have been like the early discovery days when I wasn't really sure what I was listening to. Um, so I feel proud that I actually recognize all of this now. Um, this is a fantastic song. I'll back it up. Too well, I think. Actually, have a video of me reacting to this um, music video that she directed on my channel. Um, if you want to check that out, it's it. It's an incredibly well filmed journey of a relationship, one that's manipulative and abusive, and all the ebbs and flows of that. And I believe Taylor directed it all, and she casted these like incredible actors, and it's very believable. Uh, fantastic, fantastic song.
so casually cruel in the name of being honest. It's like, uh, I can identify with that one. Um, yeah, it's like I'm just being honest and like drop a bomb here that like shatters your ego. Uh, so casually cruel in the name of being honest. I was crumpled up a piece of paper lying here to start remembering. Oh, oh, oh. They say, oh, well, that ends well, but I'm in a new hell this time. You double cross. track the just between us part I think I mentioned this last time I listened to this song this end part I was there I was there and the way it loops I could listen to that for an hour I think it's so beautiful Sorry, my camera cut out there for a little bit, so we're right back.
Okay, so that's it. Um, one of the best endings to a song I've ever heard. I fundamentally believe that. Um, I love that whole song through and through, but I love that ending. I just think it's like uh, spectacular. A really good use of cyclical, um, musical, just genius. And it like really comes together and just makes it poignant. Tall. You, sir, are a legend. Thank you again for the support. Thank you again for introducing me to so much like Taylor Swift magic. I owe you a lot. Um, I want to thank you again to every single one of my patrons who have joined me on Patreon. Um, I think a lot of you know that most of these reaction videos get demonetized because of copyright issues. So. Truly, that's the only way I'm supporting myself currently. And uh, I just, I fundamentally have to thank you for that. So, um, I'm a Swifty. I think that's what it's come down to at this point. I really enjoy her music. I identify with it. I, um, I think she's just a very powerful individual. And um, as you can see, she's really, really capturing the hearts and minds of so much of the world. So thank you for joining me on this long format video, seeing her live um, at MetLife Stadium. Um, surprised myself knowing, I think, every one of those songs. And um, there will definitely be some more Taylor Swift coming soon. I need a little more guidance on where you think I should go next. Uh, but until then, make sure to go subscribe to Taylor over at her channel. Go buy tickets, go support her. And um, make sure to like, like and subscribe here, of course. Leave me a comment. I will see you next time.